Hello and welcome to Tech Cruise Live. Today I've got an iPad case and um, I've been looking around for a few iPad cases. I've gone through a few and um, I haven't really been happy with what I've found so far. You know, I've had ones like the traditional Apple case that have the flip over ones that are just kind of a little leathery flexible cover that kind of have a stand. I've gone through ones that are just the back and have a screen protector on the front. Um, but I think I've finally hit the jackpot now with a certain case from a new company I've heard of called Brent Haven. Um, so this is the Brent Haven 5-in-1 iPad case right here. And basically why I love it is because it is so useful for reading, watching movies, typing on, um, and it's also it gives a protection a lot of cases don't because it's solid plastic. So we're going to go through it now and tell you why it's like such a good iPad case and why I think it's the best one I've found so far. And I'd be really you know, interested to try and find one that beats this one. So start off with the protection aspect of it. This is the, the first of five methods. So we've got the front here. You can just see the screen through here. Um, so it's just a solid plastic kind of case on the back as well. So this slides off. So that's the first part of it, two parts. On the back, and um, this completely covers the iPad. But I knew that was going to happen. I just knew it. Um, on the back of this, we've got a second part of it, which just slides into your iPad. Now, I put a skin on the back of my iPad for this Diablo skin. So as you can see, just the skin around the edge. And it's on the back as well. So it's pretty tight getting it on, but it did go on. But I haven't been able to remove it yet. Um, so for the purposes of this video, I'm going to keep it on. But basically, it's two parts. If you just zoom into that line there, Henry, you can see that's where it breaks into two parts. Um, and so you push the bottom bit on and then you push the top bit on, it just slides on really nicely and locks in there. So that gives the back support and it's obviously got holes for your uh, lock or sleep button, headphone button, and then you've also got the dock connector at the bottom the speaker. So basically this gives protection to the back of the iPad. Um, so basically prevents, prevents it from scratching and also impact protection as well. Um, and it actually looks really nice. Okay, it's never going to look as nice as the iPad on case, but you know, when you're holding it, it adds a tiny bit of you know, uh, length onto it, but it looks pretty nice, I think. It's got the little Brent Haven logo there. So pretty classy look, and it's available in a few different colors. Um, then we've got the front. Um, so this is, again, just a plastic thing. Unfortunately, it's not colored on the inside. Maybe we would have liked them to color it on the inside as well, but it's the same color on the outside. Um, and basically, when you want to protect it, it just slides in like that. And you've got front and back protection, lovely. Secondly, we've got the movie watching feature. So take the front bit off, check it down. Want to watch a movie? I just plant the iPad in there. Look at that, lovely. Really, really stable. And um, this is a great angle for watching movies. And also as well, when I'm, say, on the train or something, it's a nice viewing angle just to scroll down stuff, just to do a little bit of typing maybe on it. So it's a really good angle and really, really um, stable. That's the second thing. Third thing's typing. All you do is you flip it over and you've now got it as a typing stand. This is probably the weakest of the five things because it works really well, but if it slips, you've got a bit of vibration. It does, there's nothing really holding it in place. So, you know, if, if it, it's not the stablest in here, I mean, it's stable when it's in, but you know, it sometimes it slips out. But for the most part, you're going to be fine. You know, when it's on a desk or something, when you've got it set up properly and just push it in a bit, you know, it's going to sit there no problem at all. And that's a really nice angle for typing on, you know, so you just got pages or whatever you want to type on. Um, and I guess it's a nice little screen as well to make sure no one's spying on you when you're on the train or something as well. Um, the fourth mode of functions is on the back. So as you saw there, I just slid the back in. So again, if you want to just hold it, you can take the front off, turn it over and chuck it in. And you've got this handle. Um, this handle is really nice. The first thing my mum said when I got the iPad is, how are you supposed to hold it? Because she wanted a handle on it. They put a handle on there, you slide your hand through there. You've got a nice little reading handle which lets you hold it really slowly, uh, stably and securely. Um, I don't know, so you can be reading newspaper, reading a book, or just holding it. You know, when you're on the travels, it just means you're not going to drop it when you're holding it. A nice little handle there. Um, and the fifth way is uh, we're going to jump over to the car now and I'm going to show you the fifth way of doing it. All right, so this is the iPad case in the car. Um, obviously, we were at night because of night pads and everything. Um, check out the lighting we did for this rig. Anyway, um, so this is the iPad case. Basically, it's attached via the back of a headrest just by a simple strap that goes around it. So you basically put it through the hand strap and you Velcro it all up and it sits on the headrest really nicely, very secure, for very safe in leaving it here. Has a nice place just to watch films. You know, you can sit back, watch a nice film on a long journey. You can even use the iPad if you want while you're doing it. But, you know, it just keeps it in the cradle and even so, you could just whip it out and um, still just use it with the holder in place. And then when you're ready to put it back in again, chuck it back in. So this is a really good, the fifth or fourth way, something like that, to use your iPad in the car. Very nice, very simple, very effective design. So that's the five features this iPad case has. Protection, reading, watching, grip, and car. Um, so, I mean, there isn't a case that I've seen that does all these things in one whilst offering really good protection as this does. Like, I feel totally comfortable lobbing my iPad in my bag now with this, all along with my college books and stuff like that. 
um, because it's just a really solid protection. You know, when all you use it all the time, the screen isn't being touched by the case because there's a the way they've crafted this hole on the top, the screen's never in contact with the case. So there's no chance of it, you know, rubbing against scratching the screen or anything like that. Um, you still got really good access to all your media buttons and keys. One thing to note though is that if you're using, for whatever reason, an old charger, not the one, the one that comes with the iPad's fine, but if you're using an older charge, Apple charger, the thicker ones, it's not gonna fit in here. So like I have a second charger that I use, so I've got charge all over the place, but I just, you know, you have to use a newer charger on this one to fit. Um, but apart from that, I can't really fault this case apart from the slight uh, typing, but again, if you set it up right, you have no problems there either. Um, Carolyn will want me to give a massive shout out to her on Twitter and Facebook, so go follow uh, Brent Haven UK on Twitter and join the Brent Haven UK Facebook group which will all be in the doobly doo description below there. Um, really cool case. If you can find one better, let me know about it because I'd really want to see something that can beat this because I think it's going to be a very tough challenge. So uh, thank you for watching. Thank you, Brent Haven. This has been the Brent Haven 5 in 1 iPad case. Thanks for watching. Email me at sam at techreserve.com. Cheers.